Hi guys, welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade. Um, this is just a fill in. Well, just for this bit on the worktop, it was £100. There's two things that are for Mother's Day, which trust me didn't, didn't cost too much. But just this here is £100. Steve's, uh, Steve said he was shocked when he got to the checkout. So let's show you what we did get. So let's just move those and I'll show you. So the usual condensed milk, which I'll be using today. Got some yogurt tubes for the kids. They usually go in pack ups. Amy used to eat them all the time, but she doesn't seem to bother these days. A mozzarella, seems I used the other one yesterday. Some cherry tomatoes. This is a heavy bag. Can't it? It doesn't say how much, doesn't it? 27. 27 grams! <laughs> or 27 tomatoes. Oh, Some tender stem for the weekend. Some Chantenay carrots also for the weekend. Their own um, knockoff Biscoff, and they are quite nice from there. Two of the packs of digestives. A pack of British Gala Apples, a pack of Easy Peelers, they ain't out all the other ones yet, they'll eat them if I, stand, if I stand there and peel them for them, they're lazy. Just wanted some icing sugar for the cake I'm doing this weekend, I'm going to do a pineapple dream cake. Sounds nice. Well for you lot. I don't like it. I don't like pineapple. Two of the tomato ketchup. Can never have too many of them in this house. There is, yep. Two of the British salted butters. I thought we'd be doing it. Chop it away. Thought you'd be doing them. Because we live in a small village, the corner shops are really expensive. So they're 40p each dearer at our local shop. There's a bistro salad. The usual toppings. Got some mild pepperoni. Some chorizo. And some German salami. We use them in all sorts, pasta bakes and all sorts. Um, chestnut mushrooms, tuna chunks, if we all have jacket potatoes I tend to use three tins because you, you don't get that much in them so they can go quite quick. Two of the soft cheese for crackers, this is what we had last night and we combine it with just a sec one of these although the last one I used was the Dolmio but this is it it's them two together is it about a quid I can't remember what they for, for, for the price of. yeah um, one container of passata and then I added in mincemeat and the usual stuff. Cheese. Cheese. Garlic mushrooms. Mushrooms, onion and chorizo. And it's, it fed all of us last night and there's enough to feed all of us again. So it it really was a cheap meal and it's nice and smoky. Steve enjoys that one. Just got some cheap margarine that is just for baking on its own. Is that their activity? Yeah. So we've got a strawberry yoghurt. Some cooked ham slices. 
a lovely pack of ginger nuts. I do like me some ginger nuts. Oh my word, look at that packaging. Nothing. Uh, a spicy Spanish treat, so I like to keep that in as well. We're not actually low on cheese, so we only needed one. The lovely corned beef. Although the price of that is getting ridiculous as well, to be honest. The celery, as Steve said, it feels like, oh, it does feel good actually. Look at that bit. Actually. But there's no uh, plastic wrapping on it anymore, which is good, really. I don't see why they need it anyway. Another tomato and bacon pasta bake sauce. Uh, they're trying to even get the labels to look like Heinz. Mm. They're trying to imitate them so much, don't they? But these are better. Baked beans, two of those that I can see anyway at the minute. That's all got. A stumpy, I was going to say courgette, cucumber. Not organic. Not organic. Two of the double cream. As you know, when we have the in-laws round at a weekend, we like to, well, I like to make a cake. Um, that pineapple dream wants 400 mils of buttermilk. But that would have cost three times more than what this costs and i just add some white vinegar into it and there's your buttermilk so that's why i chose to go this route instead of buttermilk it's a lot cheaper some just some salami sticks for the girls for pack ups some cooked chicken breast slices cheesy slices little pork pies two packs of the pan au chocolat Amy can't live without those a pack of crumpets you can tell I've got the kids uh, pack ups in mind um, a pack of mini scotch eggs the date's not great on them though 10th and 11th. Chicken poppers. I really like those. Steve likes them as well. I've got him to get me some more breakfast bars. They have got a few in the cupboard, but they take one of these each day. So this will last four days because they take one each for snack time. So I have a it's got to be fruit or something healthy. So that suits our kids more. Especially Amy pack of white seedless grapes origin in South Africa so I wonder how old they are <laughs> they're not too good though have they Steve what are you grinning at? I didn't check the bottom you didn't check the bottom? I can tell though the top was nice yeah the top looks great doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> don't need the bottom ones a replacement oil I made fish and chips the other day and fish spoils the oil so I had to get another so he's not he said he's not seen this one there before no not for these way like 10 p.m. or something uh, Morello cherry conserve he wants to save this one to go inside a a chocolate cake or whatever then he got a raspberry Yeah, kids like the black currant and the black currant. Did you just get one of these, Steve? I've already shown one. Have I? I right, see you in there. So yeah, we've got two in total of the stirrings, tomato and bacon. We'll see if it's as smoky as the other one. I've got loads of dark chocolate. I got an offer the other day for 20 100 gram bars of the premium dark chocolate I think it's 60% cocoa solids and it was five pound for all of those but I do like to have milk in as well because um, Caitlin doesn't like just dark chocolate so 
Got some brioche hot dog rolls there for tomorrow for hot dogs, as it says on the pack. It's been out, so obviously the kids get their pudding for today. Got a bag of large baking potatoes. They look quite decent, actually. Mm. Hey. A bag of frozen french fries, that's to have with the hot dogs. These are for Sunday, the father-in-law likes these and he likes them warm. Warm, ugh. I don't drink anymore, I haven't for years, but I could never drink one warm. This is a new one. <laughs> he microwaved his for 10 seconds the other day, you know. <laughs> Because there's something wrong with his tooth, sensitive I think. Um, 12 large eggs. Oh, got half the bird with it. They're not bad. I have got eggs, but it's always only to have them have in. And a bag of British red potatoes. So that's what we got. Steve will put the prices up and the total. A uh, couple of things can't show because they're for Mother's Day. So, yeah, that was what we got. Anyway, it's nice to be back chatting to you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the fill-in. Have a chat to me down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share it if you can. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.